G'day one and all, I'm Southpaw Racer. I like looking at maps. I like racetracks. I like looking at maps of racetracks. And sometimes when I do that, I like looking at proposals. We all know how racetracks have evolved over the years in concrete ways. I mean, you can list off the amount of changes that have been made at Silverstone, for example. But what about the designs that didn't make it? What about the designs that people just laughed out of the room before they had a chance to actually be seen? Well, a couple of them exist out there in some far off, uh, not very recently updated places of the internet, and I'm going to highlight a couple of those for you today. The track being featured, Spa Francorchamps. Let's dive in. In the late 60s and early 70s, the Circuit de Spa Francorchamps was not having a great time on the world stage. The old road layout that the circuit had become famous for was under much scrutiny in the face of safety concerns raised by Jackie Stewart, chief among many others. And every other person's going to say, oh, you know, the old Spa was a legendary circuit, it was a challenge, it was feared by drivers. Well, yeah, that's the problem. Drivers feared it. It, it, it was not a safe circuit. It never was. So after safety protests forced Formula One to leave Spa-Francorchamps for other Belgian circuits, Nivelle Bola and Zolder, Spa was left with a conundrum. The circuit would love to have racing back, but it had to be safer. So it seems a bunch of proposals were submitted throughout the late 60s and throughout the 70s to shorten the Spa layout and bring it up to a reasonable safety standard. And now I'm not talking about the 7 kilometer layout that we know now. That is the layout that eventually made it out of the drawing board. But the designs I'm going to be looking at today, um, they, they, they push the envelope a bit. The first design we're going to be looking at is one that appeared in 1960. 67 from the magazine Sport Mature. Now, this design is... Okay, okay, no, this, this is already too much. Video's cancelled. Where do I even begin with, with this Sport Mature design from 1967? It's utterly insane. I've compared maps and satellite imagery to try and translate it onto a 3D surface as, as well as I can with my limited skills, so uh, enjoy this little tour, I guess, around this proposal. It shares the start-finish line with the older layout of the circuit, the run-up to uh, Rouge and Radion, but it cuts out that complex completely. There's a straight run up the hill, then they go through the Kemmel Kink, and then immediately into this sweeping uphill turn that just keeps on going, keeps going uphill, uh, goes over a bit of a crest as it comes over the side of the larger mountain, then bearing right, it climbs up the hill, back over what seems to be near the summit, and then plunges back down into a hard left-hander onto the old Kemmel Strait. It's followed by another never-ending left-hander that seems to cross the path of the current circuit as it is now. Then a hard left, I'd presume third gear in the cars of the era, and going over an overpass, which is interesting. Then a kink into a series of cascading second gear hairpins. <laughs> A run uphill to another very open hairpin, probably low third gear. Then a long stretch where there's a bit of a right flick, then a third or fourth gear right hander onto another back straight, down to another hairpin. From there, it's a sweeper into a hard left, hard right. You can see that they uh, were pretty keen on using as little of the existing public road layout as possible, but then, as they come over this hill, they come onto where a track already appears to be on the side of the hill, and then a hard braking zone and a couple of hard rights to finish off the lap. I mean, Jesus, wow. The, the, I mean, th this circuit looks like one hell of a ride, for sure. If I saw this squiggle on a piece of paper without uh, any other context surrounding it, I'd say, yeah, sure, sign me up. Where is this place? I want to have a go. But is it Spa? Is it Spa? Uh, I don't even want to answer the question. <laughs> Who knows, if people had taken this proposal seriously, we, uh, we might be talking about some different legendary corners than we do now. This proposal is a little bit more reasonable, and it appeared in 1968. 
Everything from Blanchiment to Le Combe seems to have been left alone, but the blast through the countryside that was both fast and fatal uh, seems to have been left by the wayside. In its place is what seems like a simple triple hairpin complex, but the elevation change in that section is actually pretty immense. It goes up and along the side of a hill and then cascades back down to rejoin the old circuit on the public roads. It would, would have been an interesting layout, but it wasn't the one that made it, so yeah, uh, evidently it wasn't deemed good enough. I don't know if it would have satisfied the safety standards that drivers were clamouring for at the time, but uh, at least it offers a few more outbreaking opportunities than the old layout. Now we get to a couple of 1969 proposals by uh, M. Ozer and M. Schmitz. Now these were two guys that evidently dreamed pretty big. There are some spectacular corner combinations in these designs, but I don't think they really fit the spa theme. It's kind of not on brand. I mean, look at this. This is Schmitz's proposal. What is this? Not only does he get rid of Radion and Eau Rouge once again, but instead of a challenging section going through the countryside or even a good purpose built section, it's just a couple of fast right-handers. I mean, don't get me wrong, with, with the elevation change involved, they'd certainly have been a challenge, but would it have been good for racing? I'm not quite sure. And if safety was the big concern, you'd need to clear some pretty hefty runoff areas for those. Blanchiment to La Source is left untouched, so from a driver's perspective, I guess that's nice, but the rest of the track I just find a bit eh. Now this is M. Ozer's proposal, and you will see that it barely lines up with anything. Again, the run-up from the start-finish line to Le Combe is used as a base. He chops off Radion and Eau Rouge, but then this is quite an interesting section. Le Combe heads straight on into a hard right, which is still taken at quite a bit of speed, and then there's a long straight line blast through a few paddocks, over a hill and to a very fast hairpin of some degree, I'd say third gear, and then a couple of sweepers left and right into a tight chicane, purpose built into the racetrack, which is interesting for the 60s, I suppose, then a fast left into a section of track that lines up suspiciously with the run-up to Fagne on the current circuit, then another fast left, and then a hairpin around where the classic pits are today. I really don't know what to say about this. Yes, I find it interesting, but do I find it good? Finally, we come to the last in the line of these proposals from 1978, and this one is probably one of the last to be considered before the current layout of Spa was put into use. And this one reminds me a lot of what happened to Rouen Les Essars in France. A former fast and dangerous stretch of public roads replaced by uh, a veer off to the right and some fast S's through the countryside. Interesting. But of course the context is far different, and I think these S's would have been a lot faster than Rouen's. I don't know if it would have worked as a Grand Prix circuit for Spa going forward though. Sure, it looks like fun, but the straight line sections are still pretty long, a bit longer than they are on the current circuit, and who knows what kind of safety measures this circuit would have had to re-satisfy further down the line. Would this layout have survived the 80s and 90s? I honestly doubt it. Also, such also if <clears throat> also if such a design was being considered now, I uh, I think you might have to use up some of the budget relocating some villages. I mean, I know the good people of the Liège region love Spa as much as anyone, but I think they would even balk at having to be moved out of their houses for the sake of a track. So that brings my little exploration to an end, and after all of this, I have to say, I have a very big appreciation for the current layout of Spa now. KK Rosberg called it the perfect track when F1 first raced on the, uh, the current section, the purpose-built section, and I think he's right. 
Spar as it is now is a beautiful blend of medium speed corners that though they seem very geometric, very mathematically planned out in places, they still follow the terrain wonderfully and you can carry so much speed through corners like Puon and through Fanye as well. It's an amazing track and I love driving around it in any sim, it's brilliant. These layouts I've looked at today, I'd uh, personally probably still choose the current layout over any of these. I mean sure, I'd probably drive a couple of laps for fun on R Factor 2 or Automobilista or something like that, but uh, uh, when, when I want to race at Spa, I'll race at Spa Spa, thank you very much. What do you think? What's your favourite out of these proposals? What's your least favourite? Do you prefer any of them over the current layout? Do you think any of them are better than the old layout of Spa, the one that's been in use since the 20s? I want to know. Keep the discussion going. During my research for this video, uh, I came across a lot of dead links and pages that hadn't been updated in an extremely long time, so uh, I would appreciate any current information about uh, the validity of these designs, how accurate I managed to get them onto the current layout of the circuit, whatever, just, just let me know. Subscribe for more second gear hairpins.